Did you know that in Buddhism, even a little pile of dirt can be seen as representing the Buddha or an enlightened person, but only if it's made into a special structure called a stupa? A stupa is a really important building in Buddhism. It's like a round dome, and inside, it might have relics from either Buddha or other important figures. People use it as a place to meditate. Sometimes, folks also walk around it as part of their prayers. When we look at a stupa from an architectural point of view, it symbolizes the Buddha. Imagine the Buddha with a crown sitting in a meditative pose and on a throne. Well, the top part of the stupa is like his crown. The square part at the bottom of that is his head. The middle part is his body. The steps going down are his legs, and the bottom part is his throne. Lotus Blossom Stupa Also known as Stupa of Heaped Lotuses, or Birth of the Sugata Stupa, this stupa refers to the birth of Gautama Buddha. At birth, Buddha took seven steps in each of the four directions, east, south, west, and north. In each direction, lotuses sprang up, symbolizing the Brahmaviharas, love, compassion, joy, and equanimity. The base of this stupa is circular and has four steps, and it is decorated with lotus petal designs. Occasionally, seven heaped lotus steps are constructed. These refer to the seven first steps of the Buddha. Enlightenment Stupa Also known as the Stupa of the Conquest of Mara, this stupa symbolizes the 35-year-old Buddha's attainment of enlightenment under the Bodhi tree in Bodhgaya, where he conquered worldly temptations and attacks, manifesting in the form of Mara. Stupa of Many Doors this stupa is also known as the stupa of many gates. After reaching enlightenment, the Buddha taught his first students in a deer park near Sarnath. The series of doors on each side of the steps represents the first teachings, the Four Noble Truths, the Six Paramitas, the Noble Eightfold Path, and the Twelve Nidanas. Stupa of descent from the God Realm at 42 years of age Buddha spent a summer retreat in the Tusita heaven where his mother had taken rebirth. In order to repay her kindness, he taught the Dharma to her rebirth. Local inhabitants built a stupa in Sankasa in order to commemorate this event. This type of stupa is characterized by having a central projection at each side containing a triple ladder or steps. Stupa of Great Miracles Also known as the Stupa of Conquest of the Tirthakas, this stupa refers to various miracles performed by the Buddha when he was 50 years old. Legend claims that he overpowered Maras and heretics by engaging them in intellectual arguments and also by performing miracles. This stupa was raised by the Lichavi Kingdom to commemorate the event. Stupa of Reconciliation When the cousin of Buddha named Devadatta had caused a split within the community of practitioners of Dharma, due to disagreement, Buddha lighted them with his wisdom and reunited the split into one. To symbolize this reconciliation of Sangha, this stupa was built. This stupa commemorates Buddha's successful prolonging of his life by three months. It has only three steps, which are circular and unadorned. Stupa of Complete Victory Also known as the All-Victorious Stupa, this stupa symbolizes the power of Buddha prolonging his life when agreed to extend his life by three months, when one of his followers has pleaded with him not to pass away. This stupa is also widely known for its healing power, Stupa of Nirvana, this stupa is also known as Parinirvana Stupa and symbolizes the death of Buddha 
when he was 80 years old, or Buddha's leaving the conditioned existence. It was Kushinagar, where Buddha left this world and made journey to Nirvana. On his final words, Buddha advised his disciples to be diligent and continue their effort to attain enlightenment. And lying on the right side and in a state of profound mediation, he left the world and went nirvana.